Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to take a look around the menu and see what it is we have available to us. Now, going from right to left, you'll start with the avatar button. And if you already have your image in this area, then you'll see your customized image that you placed there. But if you haven't yet, and you click on this image, what you're going to find is you'll find that there is a menu that comes on the right side. It gives you access to your profile, which you can change. And this area actually repeats some of the menu items. But one of the things that you can do is you can customize this image so that when people see your name, they'll know and associate that with you. Now, when you click the profile button, you'll notice that you can actually change your username. You can also change your initials. You can write a bio in here, and you'll probably have about 30 to 35 characters that will be visible to those who are looking at your bio. So if you want your username and your initials to be different, you can write that in here. You can also change the profile image and you can click this button and that'll give you access to a photo that will be on your hard drive. And you can also take a photo with your webcam. So once you've uploaded the photo or taken a photo with your webcam, you can then go back and save your profile. And then you'll have your new profile. So going back to complete this right side menu, you're going to notice that you can actually take a look at any cards that you have. And you'll be able to do that at a glance in this menu. There's also a link to change your settings. And we'll actually be looking at this settings link in a separate video. You have your help link, available shortcuts. You can actually change the language and you can log out from this menu. Your area next to your profile avatar, you'll see that there is a link here that has a bell. This is going to be a notification area. When you have activity on your account, you'll be able to see the notation here in the notification area. And then you have an information button. And this is information specifically from Trello itself. When you're looking to create new content, you'll click this plus button. You can create your boards, your team, and a business team. We'll actually be doing that in other videos. Then moving all the way over to the left side, you'll be able to search your cards. So you'll be able to search for certain content inside of your boards and any boards that are associated with you. And you'll be able to write your search terms in this area. You'll be able to track the activity on your boards specifically. You'll be able to see any of your recent activity on boards and you'll be able to see a list of all of your personal boards. Now, one thing you can do is you can actually keep this menu open. It will stay on the left side and then give you access to all of your other content in this area. So now let's take a look at what an area would actually look like if you had multiple layers of content. And you'll notice that you have an interface here and you also have any of your searchable content in this dialog box looking for specific boards or in this search dialog box for specific content. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.